Founders mentality is focused on one big question, which is why is it that some companies move from success to success sustainably, innovating with energy, and others do not. And it arose in our minds from the clash of two major statistics, which are both remarkable. One is that only one in nine companies in the world now uh, achieves even a modest level of sustained and profitable growth for 10 years, even though all aspire to it. The second statistic is that right now about 85% of executives say that the main barriers to achieving their growth goals are internal, controllable to them, not market factors or competitors. So much of it though tracks back to what we call the growth paradox, which is that growth creates complexity by its very nature, yet complexity is the silent killer of profitable growth. So what is the founder's mentality? The founder's mentality is an amazing measure of the power of the internal health of a company to keep its energy up, to innovate, to stay focused. Founders mentality consists of three elements. The first of these elements is what we call business insurgency, a special mission, in a sense, of the business. It's what makes it unique. It's what gives a company its soul. And it consists of the willingness to think about the long term. It consists of some very spiky characteristics that make the business unique and give its employees pride, and it consists of an elevated uh, purpose. You know, you lose your sense of insurgency, you lose your ability to inspire, you lose your ability to attract the best young talent, you lose your soul. Second element of the founder's mentality is what we call frontline obsession. This relates to obsession with the customer, obsession with making the people at the front line of the business the heroes, and incredible intellectual curiosity about the detail. Every great founder had it. You lose it, you become a bureaucracy, power flows into the middle, and as companies grow large, very often power even flows disproportionately into the hands of people who have never served a customer, never worked at the front line. The third element of the founder's mentality is what we call the owner's mindset. This is an obsession with speed, an enormous abhorrence of the trappings of bureaucracy, and an incredible willingness to take responsibility for every dollar and focus on the simple measures of cash flow. It's the rocket fuel that propelled private equity, and it's the rocket fuel that propels many of the great companies. Taken together, these three things have enormous impact. Companies that uh, have the founder's mentality for the past 15 years performed better in the stock market, and companies that have uh, strong characteristics of all three dimensions of the founder's mentality are five times more likely in any year to be a top quartile performer and to be the places where the great young talent really wants to work.